Uh, this is an old knife I had from when I was a kid. I literally have had this knife since I was probably eight or nine. It's a uh, United Cutlery Bushmaster, and it has been through it, man. I have played with this knife. I've used it. It's, I mean, I've had this knife a long time. Um, it's n it's not a great knife. I mean, as far as like quality steel and all that, it's uh, 420 stainless. Uh, it's got a oh what is this a cast metal handle it was a survival knife so it's like tubular which brings me to my modification uh it used to be like a, a little compass thing you could screw in on the on the end for the butt cap but i lost it and i want to fill that in I, i'm uh, wanting to make it halfway functional and i don't want to have a hollow handle so what i'm doing is i've got a little pipe fitting that I'm going to screw in here and lock tight and there was a hole in the top of it so I filled it in with a bolt so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to screw this in tight as I can get it lock tight it in then I'm going to take a uh, once it's in there and screwed in I'm going to take a hacksaw and cut the top off and grind it down if I still can't grind it good I may just weld it and kind of grind it and smooth it up anyway doesn't really matter it's, it's not a great knife. I'm just doing it for practice. Uh, then I'm going to lock tight and screw that in. And hopefully by the time I'm done, it will kind of look like that. Uh, if you could tell. Anyway, that's just a little modification to get a, get a butt cap on there so I don't have a hollow handle there. But uh, anyway, definitely this time I'm going to sand and then blow it off with shop air um, and not degrease at the end. I'm going to degrease sand, shop air, and then spray it. Uh, anyway, I'll update more on this one later. Thanks. Okay, um, as you might can tell, I have sanded everything down pretty good. Uh, I did get the piece on the end. I didn't, I didn't wind up welding or anything. It's just kind of on there rough. Uh, probably will never come back out which is fine with me I just wanted a, a butt plate uh, on there so uh, it gives a little more weight too anyway um, all right I'm trying this again and her Duracoats instruction on the phone with me I have degreased and sanded and I have now blown it off with shop air so uh, with my air compressor so I've done everything to a T like they said uh, I'm gonna mix up my tactical black which is I'm using that really because that's the only um, color I've got right now uh, I'm gonna mix it up and get to spraying and I'll let you know how it turns out Okay, uh, I've made my first pass on it, uh, first coat. Man, it looks really cool, um, or at least I think it does. Um, it's the handle. Um, one thing I noticed, I'm, too, I'm trying to give you kind of tips, or just things I noticed. People, there may, there may be other people that have this stuff down pat, but it's, it's new to me. So, one thing I've noticed with their setup is... It, it sprays a little easier when I'm angled down. Like I noticed when I started spraying this box, I was, I'm standing over it kind of, so I start spraying and I spray down. And it, it seems to, to come out pretty good. Well, I say that and then it doesn't, there it goes. So you, you can see how it start, it comes out pretty decent. It's kind of slow going. There's probably better air guns than this, but Anyway, I noticed when I when I have to tilt back, even though the little tube goes down in the very bottom of this container, it still works a little better when I'm turned down. I don't know why. If you know, you can comment and tell me. But anyway, that's one thing I noticed. Anyway, that's a uh, first pass. Looks good. Uh, I'm gonna probably put three or four coats on here. Oh, and I also tried the little flash flash dry flash thing where you you know spray some canned air on it or shop air or whatever and you uh they they say that you don't even have to wait 20 minutes you can 
flash spray it and as soon as it's it's uh looks dry go ahead and put your other coat on that was another thing i asked him on the phone is how quickly can you put another coat on as soon as you flash dry it with canned air or you just wait till it air you know sits there and just waits and, and dries on its own and you can go ahead and put the other coat you don't have to wait uh, a long time i'll uh show you more later well this is uh after four coats um looks pretty good uh one thing that happened and there's no way this camera is going to zoom in on it i've got a yeah it won't even focus there's a little bitty fleck in there of dust or something it's barely noticeable on the blade but uh it's in there it happened at the last second i'm sure i can sand it just a little and go back over it but i probably won't it doesn't matter i'm gonna let this sit uh till tomorrow and then i'll put it back together um and also i went kind of duracoat happy again i had a throwing knife that i forgot was in here i kind of got into throwing knives years and years ago and it was just a one of these old cheap uh stainless steel ones and so i duracoated that it looks cool i guess uh anyway oh another thing i did forgot to tell you about was uh a little dewalt don't know if it'll focus in a little dewalt uh drill bit for my drill i did it so it'd be pretty cool to coat some tools in these things uh, tools or things in the in the deer coat so anyway i will give you a look at it when uh we finish it up well this is the finished product and it turned out really good um i've waited uh probably it's, it's been over 24 hours. It's probably more like 35 hours-ish. Um, turned out really good. Um, followed their instructions. I have no wear on this knife, so I, you know, I don't know how it's going to hold up. I'm, you know, I got my ding on my K-bar, but um, looks good right now. Uh, I did. I have run into, and I'm not going to be able to pick it up with this camera. I've run into. Uh, getting little bitty flecks of dust in here or or grit or something um or maybe it's just paint that's dried in the air before it hit and it's yeah it's like almost having a tiny tiny grain of sand inside your paint um now the, I, from what i remember and talking and asking about and reading on is you can just sand something like that out and go back over it so that's no big deal as long as it's within that seven day period um, I don't know that I'll do that. This, like I said, this knife was just another test knife. Um, turned out good. I, I don't really care if it's got that little fleck in there. You can't really see it with the camera, but it's there. Uh, actually, there's two of them, I think. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, I think the next project I do will be a uh, be my shotgun. So, um, anyway, I've enjoyed it. Turned out good, and I hope you. If you're starting out doing this, maybe you got something out of this. Maybe you uh, can avoid some of the mistakes I've made. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Watch for the next video. It'll be a uh, Remington 1100 shotgun. Thanks.